in a medical malpractice case in New York, are there rules of the road for doctors to follow? Would you like to learn what this is all about and why there are rules of the road? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law in the state of New York. When you drive a car, you know what the rules of the road are. You know that when the traffic light is red, you have to stop. You know at a stop sign, you have to stop. You know what a yield sign means. So people who drive every day or in cars every day know what the rules of the road are. But in a medical malpractice case, the majority of people who are involved don't truly know what those same rules are. Now, during the course of a medical malpractice trial, during jury selection, we have to ask these questions of potential jurors who are willing to sit in and judge your particular case. And one of the things we ask them is, listen, do you know what the rules of the road are for doctors when performing a surgical procedure? And everybody says, no, I didn't know that there were rules of the road for doctors. Well, in a sense, there are no typical rules of the road, however, there are certain standards of care that the doctor has to follow when treating a patient for a particular condition. And if a doctor violates those basic standards of medical care, he's going to be held responsible for those violations. So technically, even though there are no rules of the road for doctors and hospitals, there are still specific rules and regulations that doctors and hospital staff have to follow. And if they have violated those rules of the road, same thing as if somebody drives and goes through a red light. Now a jury will be able to see a little bit clearer that if a doctor violated those standards of care, now they can connect the dots and recognize that that violation from the standard of care caused somebody injury, and now they'll be able to see that that doctor or hospital is actually responsible for the injury and harm that he caused to this patient. So why do I share this information with you? I share it with you to give you an insight and an understanding to what goes on during a medical malpractice trial because a lot of people aren't familiar of how to judge a doctor's care and treatment. They always say, hey, wait a second, I'm not a doctor, I'm not qualified to evaluate somebody's care and treatment. And that's exactly why we bring in medical experts to come in and testify about what the standards of care were, as well as getting information from the doctors who are being sued about what the standards of care were in that particular situation. You know, I realize you're watching this because you likely have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if you're contemplating bringing a lawsuit in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day.